Hey guys, it's Landon from Redefine Horizons. This is the third video I'm doing in the video set that shows you how we're resolving this boundary for this little 23 acre ranch out here east of Waterford, California. So if you watched the last video, we got this old sub map placed in. That's pretty good for having five foot of closure. So we, we fit fairly well with the monuments, you know, within two feet. We fit occupation very well. Uh, now, the one the one issue I've got here is I've got this monument that's about 24 feet south of where the, the I thought the corner was, and I can't figure out, based on the other record references I have available, where that monument was, where that monument came from, although I'm fairly confident it should mark this line here. So I'm going to look. There's, a, there's supposed to be a post here, and then I think there's actually, there's another 4x4 four four post. So let's see, it's 12 chains south of the section corner. There's supposed to be another post. I think this is that section corner. So it's supposed to be a post here. So we'll, we'll create a stakeout point, and I'll see if I can find that without getting shot. So a couple posts are supposed to be in here. And then there's also supposed to be, I don't know what happened, but there's also supposed to be a witness monument 264 feet south of that corner. So we'll see if we can look for that. I can get in here even if I have to hike. I know I can get down. There's a gate. Uh, there's a gate in here somewhere, but I can hike into this if I need to. Um, I think this is also a park, so I could I could probably come in here to the park and I could probably get in this way if I have to. So it might be a hike, but I'll I'll see if I can get in here. I also happen to be friends with the surveyor for this. Well, I hope I'm friends. I consider the the surveyor for the irrigation district here to be a friend of mine. I I bet he'll get me in that gate. So we'll 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 go look for this. Okay, so let's place this second map. And we're just we want to do this to just confirm our fit. And I, I actually found the monuments on this map is what I found. I didn't find the redwood hubs on the sub map. I found what's on this guy's map. So we're gonna anchor it here to that pipe. And I and I already rotated it in. But let me just uh whoop. let me just rotate this off so you guys can see that. So I'm going to anchor it here, and then I'm going to rotate it here. So I'm going to rotate from this corner, I believe it was this corner, yeah. We're going to rotate from this corner on the map to this pipe we found. And you can see we fit that, we, we smoked that. So we found that rebar. When I hold the pipe and rotate in, we found that rebar right where that guy said we were going to find it. So that's a good fit. And then we can come just come down here and look at this concrete mon. Concrete mon also fits. I mean, that's less than a foot. Concrete mon also fits really good. So I feel like we have a good, we've got a good fit on this map here. <clears throat> and you can see this looks pretty good. You know, we're, we're lining up pretty good there. Coming down this line looks pretty close. <clears throat> By the way, when you see these differences here, these are just differences in the record measurements, right? So the, the record measurements aren't exact. So I feel like this, this fits pretty good with the monuments we found. So I, I don't think it changes anything for me. Okay, so w w what I really have to do then is decide what do I do with this two feet over here. This lines up really good with the fence. This line work, uh, fits these monuments over here. Now I do believe I do have a little bit of a closure error. I think I put the closure error over here in my old sub map. Where did I put that closure error? Let's look at it. Let's see where I put that closure error. Because there was some closure error in this map. So let's, I want to just open this block. 
So let's see here. I'm pretty sure I put the east-west closure over here. Yeah, it looks that all looks tight. Where did I put that east-west closure? Okay, it's right. It's right here. Um, but you can see it's it's again it's mostly north south. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these lines here. Actually, you know what I want to do? Oh, let me think about this. It's mostly north south. So the problem I got right now, guys, is if, if if I move these lines over here up to this line, I'm gonna I'm gonna come off my monuments down here, which I which I really don't want to do. So you got to make a call here. Here's what I think I'm gonna do. I am gonna move these lines, and I am gonna put the closure error right here. quite get that right okay so what that means is my lines now are fitting these monuments good over here but I have a little bit of a gap here okay and I'm probably gonna put that gap in my clients property you notice he's picking land up you got to put it somewhere guys right and I'm, I'm not gonna you know to try and proportion on this old map with these funky lots two feet uh, just to me is silly I'm probably gonna just make this line long when I do my resolve boundary Okay, now, what we're, so what we need to do, I'm going to go back and do another day of field work, so let's just save these changes real quick. What I'm going to do when I go back is I'm going to try and find these three monuments. I'll probably start with this one over here where I won't get shot. See if I can find those monuments to confirm that this monument is online. If that monument is online, that means I'm going to lose two feet here. And I suspect it is online. <clears throat> what I will probably do, the county road needs to get its full width, which means that will probably push this line right here. This line, I'm probably going to move two feet over, two feet to the east, so that the road gets its full width, and then it fits the monument. Now what I want to do, that's part of the reason why I want to get some shots on this fence because I want to see when I make that two foot adjustment, what does that do with the fence? <clears throat> and I will uh, we'll shoot this fence over here. It looks like it's a great fit with the aerial, but I just want to con confirm that. So I'm going to look for three more monuments here. I'm going to shoot these couple of fences. Um, I, I, I doubt I'll find these redwood posts here, but I'm going to look for them. There's redwood posts here from 1920, so I'll go, I'll go look for those. We'll get some stake out and we'll go, we'll dig some holes and see if we can find them. Okay. Now, in the meantime, I want to just come up with some line work. I want to come up with some line work that we can use to at least get the site plan submitted. Because I think what I have here is pretty good. I might move one line two feet, but otherwise I think I'm, I'm pretty happy with the, with the boundary that I have just right here in the search drawing. Okay, so what I'm going to do in the next video is uh, this north line of our parcel is created off a couple calls in the deed, which I have here. So we're going to put those in the deed. I mean, we're going to we're going to take those deed calls and get them in this search drawing, and then I'll show you how I convert that to what we call a, a, a excuse me to what I call a resolved boundary line work drawing. Now I'm not going to put that video on YouTube. So that'll be number four in the set. I am going to put that up on the Patreon page for On Point Workshops. You sh there's no charge to see it. You can view it with the free membership. But that'll get you guys, if you like this, to sign up for my Patreon account uh, so I can get you on my email list. I'm going to start doing a, an email newsletter, I hope, maybe once a month that just shares all my resources with you guys. So I'm going to put that video there to entice you to join the Patreon page if you like these videos and you can see I'll probably do uh, the video where I re where I resolve resolve the line work and I'll do another video where we look at the adjoiner deeds um, I'll put those two videos up on the on the patreon page for on point workshops uh, so check us out there it's on point workshops just search for that on patreon you'll find it 
and I'm gonna do some more of these video sets. So I've got I've got uh, two more for this set at least. I will resolve the line work. Then I will do look at the adjoiner deeds. We'll do that together. Make sure we don't have any gaps and overlaps with the adjoiners. I'll probably do another video where I show you guys how our line work fits with the fence shots and my. I'll let you know what I found with these other monuments, how they fit. And then I might do one or two more videos that just show you how I, how I would create the, uh, you know, basically the, the annotations for the boundary and some of the notes for the record of survey because I think that, that would be helpful for you guys. We are going to set monuments on this and do a record of survey. That's part of our scope. Okay, so I appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to stop this video, take a snack break, and then jump in and do that next video where we actually resolve this line work.